Inside the female body, the development of an egg cell is a slow and carefully timed process that begins before birth and continues through many years of life. The story of a human egg starts while a baby girl is still forming in her mother's womb. During early fetal development, millions of tiny, immature cells called primordial follicles take shape inside the ovaries. Each follicle contains a single egg cell in its earliest form, known as a primary oocyte. Although there are millions of these at first, many naturally fade away before birth, leaving only a few hundred thousand by the time the girl is born. Even though this number seems large, only a small fraction will ever fully mature. Most remain in a quiet, paused state for decades, waiting for the hormonal signals that will someday guide them through the next steps of development. When puberty begins, the body starts releasing regular pulses of reproductive hormones from the brain. These hormones come from two areas, the hypothalamus, which sends out a signal called gonadotropin, releasing hormone, and the pituitary gland, which responds by releasing follicle, stimulating hormone, or FSH, and luteinizing hormone, or LH. These hormones travel through the bloodstream to the ovaries and act like gentle nudges, encouraging some of the resting follicles to begin growing again. During each menstrual cycle, a group of follicles wakes up and starts to mature. Although several may begin the process at the same time, usually only one will continue developing all the way to ovulation. The others gradually stop growing and are absorbed by the body. As a follicle begins to mature, the egg inside it completes part of a special form of cell division called meiosis. Meiosis is the process that creates reproductive cells with half the usual number of chromosomes. Chromosomes are the packages of genetic information that help guide the body's structure and function. The egg pauses partway through meiosis and will not finish the process unless fertilization occurs later on. Around the egg, layers of support cells grow thicker, forming a protective and nourishing environment called the follicle. These support cells also produce estrogen, a hormone that helps thicken the lining of the uterus in preparation for a possible pregnancy. As the chosen follicle grows, it fills with fluid and pushes toward the surface of the ovary. Estrogen levels rise gradually as the follicle matures, and these rising levels send signals back to the brain. When estrogen reaches a certain peak, it triggers the pituitary gland to release a surge of LH. This LH surge is what causes ovulation. Ovulation is the moment when the mature follicle opens and gently releases the egg from the ovary. The egg, now called a secondary oocyte, is surrounded by a cushion of protective cells. It is swept into the nearby fallopian tube by tiny hair-like structures called fimbriae, which guide it toward the tube's entrance. Once inside the fallopian tube, the egg begins a slow journey toward the uterus. This path usually takes a few days. During this time, the egg is capable of being fertilized, but its window of fertility is short. If sperm are present in the fallopian tube, one may enter the egg and trigger the final stage of meiosis. When fertilization happens, the egg completes its division, and its chromosomes combine with the chromosomes from the sperm. This creates a single new cell with a full set of genetic information, marking the beginning of a developing embryo. If fertilization does not occur, the egg naturally breaks down and is absorbed by the body, and the cycle continues into its next phase. After ovulation, the empty follicle in the ovary transforms into a temporary hormone, producing structure called the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum releases progesterone, a hormone that helps maintain the uterine lining and makes it ready to support an early pregnancy. If no pregnancy occurs, the corpus luteum slowly dissolves, progesterone levels fall, and the lining of the uterus eventually sheds, leading to menstruation. This cycle repeats itself roughly every month, each time selecting a new follicle with the potential to mature. Although this system usually works smoothly, several factors can affect the stages of egg development. Age is one of the most significant influences. As a person ages, the number of remaining follicles declines and the quality of the eggs can decrease. This is because eggs remain paused in meiosis for many years, and the longer they stay in that state, the higher the chances of errors in chromosome separation. Such errors can lead to difficulties with fertilization or early embryo development. Hormonal imbalances can also affect egg maturation. If the brain does not release FSH and LH in the right pattern, the follicles may not receive the proper signals to grow. Conditions such as polycystic ovary syndrome, 
commonly known as PCOS, can disrupt these hormonal rhythms. In PCOS, the ovaries may contain many small follicles that start to grow but do not fully mature, which can lead to irregular ovulation. Environmental factors can also play a role. Smoking, high levels of stress, poor nutrition, or exposure to certain toxins may affect how well the follicles develop or how responsive they are to hormonal signals. Sometimes the ovaries stop functioning earlier than expected, a condition called premature ovarian insufficiency. When this happens, the ovaries no longer release eggs regularly, and hormone levels change in a way that resembles menopause, even in younger individuals. Despite these challenges, the process of egg development is remarkably resilient and finely tuned. Each stage from the quiet decades of early dormancy to the monthly cycle of growth, selection, and release reflects a complex interplay between the brain, the ovaries, and the rest of the reproductive system. The development of a human egg cell is not just a sequence of steps, but a coordinated rhythm involving communication between different parts of the body Hormones act like messengers, guiding the follicles through their stages. The ovaries respond by adjusting which follicles grow and how much estrogen and progesterone they produce. The uterus prepares itself based on these signals, offering the right environment in case fertilization occurs. When viewed in this way, the development of a human egg becomes a remarkable example of timing and balance. Even though only one egg typically reaches maturity each cycle, the body continuously maintains a supportive environment for this process. It ensures that the egg has what it needs to grow, and it prepares the rest of the reproductive system for the possibility of creating new life. Understanding these stages helps explain why the menstrual cycle works the way it does, why fertility changes over time, and how different health conditions can influence reproductive function. It also highlights how sensitive the system is to hormone levels, stress, lifestyle factors, and age. Yet despite this sensitivity, the human body has evolved an intricate design that allows for years of potential fertility, giving many opportunities for conception to occur. From the earliest beginnings before birth to the monthly rhythms of adulthood, the development of the human egg cell reflects the body's careful planning and adaptability. Each stage serves a purpose, protecting the egg during long periods of rest, selecting the healthiest follicle for maturation, coordinating hormonal signals for ovulation, and preparing the uterus for implantation. Even when cycles are irregular or when challenges arise, the underlying biological design remains focused on balance and renewal. Through these coordinated steps, the body carries out one of its most complex and essential processes, offering a deeper appreciation of the quiet yet powerful work that happens within the ovaries every month.